If you've not ever worked with Dean and you're a little bit skeptical, that's intelligent. Be skeptical of whoever you work with. But what I would encourage you to say is that your skeptical nature will be rewarded. And I encourage you to uh, try this. And I am very sure that you will praise his work and his research because you've tried it. Hi, I am Naomi Rohde and I live in Phoenix, Arizona. And I have been a professional speaker for, uh, I guess, almost 50 years. I lost a vocal cord when I had a major stroke 15 years ago. It did not stop me. Uh, it took me a year to learn to walk again. I can speak wonderfully with a microphone. And uh, so now, if I'm going to have a sciatic problem, that's not going to stop me either. I'm going to try to find a way to, to solve it. And I did. Well, the question is, how long did you suffer with sciatic? And I suffered for years and years and years, and I tried everything. I had shots, I had uh, just everything that you could think of, and nothing worked. Uh, I also had had a major stroke, which you could tell from my voice, because I only have one vocal cord left. Uh, and uh, so I had some neuropathy in that same leg, and so I have the sciatic and the neuropathy, and on pain meds and, 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 and. So um, I had tried everything and I was going to a reflexologist in Phoenix and she knew of Dean's work. And she said, oh, just try him, try him. She kept saying that to me and finally I did. Just to reiterate, I had gone to three different pain specialists and I had had shots. I was on um, pain medicine uh, to try to control. Uh, I was using little pads to sit on everywhere I went. I couldn't fly uh, or sit in a car for very long because I had to stand up. So yes, I tried everything. My honest thoughts when I first heard that you could help. It was a long process. It was time consuming and I'm a person that's very busy. I'm a professional speaker. Uh, that may surprise you with my voice, but a microphone works really well. And I just thought, oh, can I really do this? Can I really commit to this? And then I said to myself, because I am a spiritual person, and a strong faith in God, I'll pray on it. So I prayed on it. And I decided, yes, this is something I must do. I must do because I must have the best quality of life that I can have. So I decided to make that commitment. And I wish you the best as you bark on this journey. It is a journey. It's not a destination. It's a journey.